first time in a gym? No problem. First thing to keep in mind, don't make the common rookie mistake of walking over the first machine that looks like it has the coolest pictures or the easiest to use instructions. Please don't waste your time on machines because they will give you a lot less bang for your buck than you can get on other exercises. In this video, I will give you a list of goals and objectives of things to accomplish in your first few months at the gym that will never have you seeming like the person that didn't know what they were doing. I want you to think of it like a video game. You have objectives and you have levels. As soon as you complete your objectives, you move on to the next level. Objective number one, move well at all movements. For example, if you know that in your workouts you'll be squatting, you'll be deadlifting, you'll be doing bench press, you'll be doing pull-ups, before you load these movements up, make sure that you can do the movement nicely with your own body weight. Make sure that you can squat comfortably with your own body weight. Make sure that you can do the movement of the deadlift or a hinge without any weight before you load it up with weight. Make sure that you can do a push-up before you can do a bench press. Make sure that you have okay overhead mobility before you start doing pull-ups and overhead pressing. In other words, take apart any movement you are going to do in the future in the gym and make sure you can do it with your own body weight well before you start doing it with weight. After you complete this, you move on to level two. Level two is making sure you have control in all these movements. So you are still before you loaded up the movements, but now you have to make sure you have control during the movements. So make sure that when you do your body weight squat, there's no part of the movement where you start shaking too much or you start losing control. You should be able to control your muscles and control your body movement at every single portion of the movement. When you're doing a push-up, you should be able to pause at every portion of the push-up, pause there for a second, and then continue. Make sure that you never feel that the movement has completely taken you over and that you have no control over where it's going and how fast it's going. After you complete this, you move on to level three. Level three is load up the movements for five to 10 reps, not till failure. What does this mean? Okay, let's say you pass movement number one, you squat. You can squat with your body weight very nicely. You move on to level number two, you make sure that you can squat with your body weight and you can control the movement at all times. There's no portion of the body weight squat where you feel like you're losing control. You move on to number three, it's time to load it up. You pick your variation depending on your program. It can be a goblet squat, front squat, high bar back squat, low bar back squat, zercher squat, doesn't really matter. You pick your variation and you load it up with weight that you can do between five to 10 reps and it's not complete failure, which means you're gonna take weight that you can do about 12 to 15 reps with, but you're only going to complete five to 10 reps. Now you completed level number three and you move on to level number four. Level number four is adding load. So now you're going to add weight. Now again, you're not gonna add more weight than you can possibly do for one or two reps. You're going to add in five to 10 pound increments, depending if it's an upper body or lower body movement. Lower body movements add in 10 pound increments, upper body movements add in five pound increments. And every workout, you're going to add some weight that you can still do between five to 10 reps with. After you start getting closer to the five rep range where you added enough weight that it's hard for you to complete five to six reps, then you completed level number four and you move on to level number five. Level number five is add reps. So now you've gotten to a weight where it's hard to complete five to six reps with. Now hold at that weight and try to increase the amount of reps. Try to complete 10 reps with it. Try to complete 12 reps. Try to get even up to 15 reps. Now again, you never go until failure. You are just going till about two reps before you fail. After you have gotten your reps back up and now you can complete 10 to 15 reps with weight that before was hard to complete five to six reps with, now you pass level number five and you move on to level number six. Level number six is increase your sets. If till now you were doing one or two sets per exercise, now try to keep all the variables the same and add a set. Try to add a third set. In your next workout, try to add a fourth set. You can take this all the way up to six sets. After you have completed this and you can complete five to six sets per exercise with the weight that was previously hard for you to complete five to six reps and now you're completing about 10 to 15 reps with, now you pass level number six and you move on to level number seven. Level number seven is decrease the rest. So before you weren't monitoring rest as much, it was all about how much weight can you move for how many reps for how many sets. Now it's time to start cutting back on the rest. If before you were taking two to four minute rest periods, now try to cut it down to 90 seconds. Try to cut it down to 60 seconds. See how low you can get your rest to before you start plateauing and you stop progressing. After you have completed level number seven, you are going to cycle back to level number four. And then you're going to cycle between level four and seven for the first few months of working out. 
After a few months of working out, your strength gains should have skyrocketed and your body should look completely different. There should be significant differences in your strength, in your ability to overcome load, in your mobility, and in your control in the movement, and in your ability to complete multiple sets with a very short rest. After you have completed your first few months of training, typically three to six months, then it's time to decide where you're going with this. And now I'll explain the reasoning behind it. In the first few months of training, you're using the law of progressive overload. This means that by giving your body more demand, your body will progress and be able to handle that demand. Now the only problem with progressive overload is that it's not a linear equation, which means that just because you were able to add 20 pounds to your bench every month for your first four months of training, doesn't mean that you'll be able to add 20 pounds to your bench for the rest of your life. If that was the case, we would all be benching thousands of pounds. It takes about three to six months for this progress to slow and for your body to stop adapting to the regular progressive overload method. This is for many of us when it'll be time to get onto a properly periodized program. Now the idea of periodization is that progress still happens, it happens slower, but you give your body different stimulus at different portions of the training program. It's usually a mix between intensive and extensive training that lets your body adapt to different things at different parts of the month or different parts of the cycle. And this prevents you from getting injured and helps you get stronger on a consistent basis. Now all of this should not be on your mind in your first six months of training. First six months you get those newbie gains, it's very easy. All you have to do is just add weight, add reps, add sets, take off rest, and you're continuously going to get stronger, going to get better, going to, going to look better, everything is going to be better. It's only when you start plateauing, usually at the end of these six months, that you have to decide where you're going with this. Are you trying to take it to a physique realm where the program is completely different than if you're trying to take it to a strength realm? Or are you just trying to take it to a movement realm? Then you really have to decide where you're trying to take your training. Because at this point, the training has to be less general and more specific to your specific goal. But right now, you don't need to focus on any of these fancy periodized programs or any of these specialized programs. For you, it's a lot simpler right now. And many of these programs, you will still not understand. You don't even have a one rep max yet because you don't know how to build that kind of intensity. That is something you train. So for now, focus on steps one through seven for your first three to six months of training. And after that, you can start acquiring new knowledge that will help you through your next stages of training. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please share this video with anyone you think it may be helpful for. And if you have any questions, always feel free to comment below or email me directly. As always, it's been a pleasure.